what is up guys I'm Kyle from KGR it's Monday so it's time for me to answer more of your guys' questions if you got any questions let me know in the comments and I might get to it next week so anyway let's get started for some reason I couldn't get this to load on my computer but it's only gonna be loading on my phone and it's Lunar Games asking me if we, if we could ever do a collab to be honest I have no idea what are we gonna play like the only thing I'm gonna play with other people is probably like Smash Brothers or Mario Kart or something a lot of people want me to play Minecraft with them and personally, I don't really play Minecraft as much as I used to anymore. In fact, I'm actually not playing as many games as I used to anymore because I'm outside a lot more. I'm having more fun with friends. And in fact, this morning, I woke up and I looked at my belly and stuff like that before I got in the shower. And I realized my belly and even my boobs have gotten it smaller. So I'm going to try to keep doing that. And in fact, that's probably another reason why I'm actually doing less Let's Plays lately. Because one, I'm always busy with work. And two, I'm just always having fun outside. Like, I'm never going to give up YouTube, but having more fun outside, trying to lose this weight, I am guarantee you I'm not going to be able to get skinny because I'm pretty confident I won't be able to. Trying to lose as much weight as I can, it's a goal that I want to do. But I don't want to change my diet, so if I can just, like, eat smaller portions of things and get outside more, which I've been doing lately, I can get more weight loss, maybe. I don't know. So I can't promise that we're going to collab. I'm sorry. Are you gonna do a Sonic Heroes walkthrough? If I don't quit Let's Plays, it's a maybe. I've been debating it, but I realized how repetitive the gameplay is. Like, I love the game because it was the first game I've ever bought in my life, at least with my own money. I feel like I'd be just dreading the whole gameplay thing because it doesn't get as many views, and plus the game is just very, very repetitive. It's a maybe, but don't hold your breath. What do you think of Konami going to mobile platforms and leaving console platforms? Or any particular Konami titles that you miss and not being able to see on consoles anymore? Well, honestly, I don't know. Like, I miss the Yu-Gi-Oh games, but the newer ones I think were been like trying to turn into pay to win. Like, I don't want to say that, but like, you had to buy packs and stuff like that. I miss registering the codes on the bottom of the cards and then put them into the game. Worldwide Edition for the Game Boy Advance did that perfectly. Like, because here sometimes it'll like charge you in game, like with points and stuff like that. But with Worldwide Edition, you just put it in and you were good. However, they had it balanced, so you can only put it in once. So you can't put in three blue whites white dragons. So you have to, if you, you can register one, but you have to buy packs to get the other two. But other than that, I honestly don't really know. Like Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation, yeah, that was fun, but I was never too good at it, so I'm not gonna miss it too much. How old are you, Kyle? I'm gonna be 22 in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna be 22 on June 14th. Do you want the boost to win gameplay back from like Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Color, Sonic Generations, and Sonic Dash? Kinda, I'm not gonna lie. So the boost gameplay was really fun because in Sonic Lost World he is awfully slow, but they do have to innovate. They can't be doing that for the next 10 million years. So the fact that they're innovating is nice, but Sonic Lost World's engine will hopefully be optimized a lot better. Hopefully make it a little bit faster maybe get rid of those gimmicky levels that was in Lost World but the parkour system after you get it down it's actually kind of fun but the fact that you have to be spin dashing to be at your fastest I absolutely hate that I love seeing Sonic's actual character model be fast as possible be as fast as possible should I say yeah I guess it was fun but if I ever want to get into that I can just play Sonic Unleashed on my laptop not Sonic Unleashed Sonic Generations uh, definitely Sonic Unleashed because of the Unleashed project Mods with Generations is amazing, plus 60 frames a second. What do you think about the Street Fighter series? Honestly, I don't really like it all that much, mainly because Capcom tries to take advantage of DLC a lot and it's annoying, and plus the fact that I'm not into those kind of arcade fighter type of deals, like Tekken, Mortal Kombat, stuff like that, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, if there's going to be a fourth one, I don't know. Personally, I'm not into them because I feel like they're way too competitive. Like with Smash Brothers, it's for everyone. Like you can be casual, turn on time door stock, turn on items, and play with a bunch of gimmick levels. Or if you want to be competitive, turn the items off, set it to three or four stocked, and just always play Final Destination. That's the way I like to play. But if I ever want to play with noobs, I'll be more than happy to hop on items and have a genuinely fun time. But with the other games, I feel like it's not as diverse as, say, Smash Brothers. Hey man, what is your favorite game on Wii U, and could you give my YouTube channel a shout out? Well, this is the closest thing to a shout out you're gonna get, because if people ask for shout outs, I'm not gonna give it to them. Because I feel like you should earn it, not just be asked, and just get it. 
if people just keep asking for shout outs my channel is just gonna be a shout out channel and people are just gonna stop watching so no uh, but my favorite game on the Wii U it's kind of hard to say I don't want to say Smash Brothers because that's a very very easy target but it is an amazing game now I gotta say Rayman Legends is an amazing game on the Wii U and the Wii U version is actually the best one I want to say it's a tie between Rayman and Smash Mario Kart is fun but Rayman is amazing what is your favorite video game of all time and it could be a series um, I can't pick a specific game but I absolutely love the Crash Bandicoot series mainly because my uncle got me into it and my parents always got me every single Crash game that came out like, every time a new Crash game would come out I would literally scream like a little girl freaking out oh my god there's another Crash game I need to get now Crash Bandicoot's pretty much dead and it's a really damn shame because it's been seven years since we got a Crash game damn you Activision Mm. But my favorite game of all time, I honestly can't really pick one. I'm sorry. Do you have any advice on decorating a room? If you have a small room like me, like here my friend Chris came over for the first time and he noticed how small my room is and he says how much bigger it is on YouTube. Well, he's kind of how much bigger it looks. My room is freaking tiny. And all I can say is optimize your space extremely well. If you got figures and you collect figures, put up quite a few shelves. And if you don't want your room to look very bland and boring, pick up a lot of posters. But put them in frames because then they just look a lot nicer, especially when it comes to your nicer posters. Like Wreck-It Ralph, I had it in a uh, frame for a while, but then the frame ended up ru ruining it, and then the frame itself got ruined. So now I just hang it on the ceiling. Get a bunch of posters, get a bunch of shelves, and learn to optimize. Like, even though my collection looks really big, my collection's not going to look as big because I'm going to have a much bigger space, so I'm going to have to decorate that more often or something like that, and we'll figure out what happens. Anyway, optimize. Optimize is key. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, then don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And tune in next time for, well, actually next Monday for another Ask Me Anything video. If you want to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, it'll be in the description for all those if you're not following me already. But anyway, ask me anything, and I'll be more than happy to answer it, and I think I'll see you guys in the next one.